Well, seven years ago, uh, we started a little uh, award with Ron Cogan called the Green Card of the Year. And uh, look what's happened in seven years. It's become renowned for the standard for the industry, not just the United States, but the, but the world. And uh, this is a, a tremendous honor for Los Angeles, a tremendous honor for the show, and we're very proud to have this award. And we know it's just going to continue to grow. Just look at what the times are. So I'd like to have that award. I'd like to have Mr. Ron Cogan, who is the founder and publisher of Green Card Journal and GreenCard.com, to come up and make the presentation and the award. And a good friend, Ron Cogan, please. Good morning. I'm pleased to be here again at the Pelle Auto Show to present the Green Car <coughs> Journal Green Car of the Year Award. And I can tell by the crowd here that green is on the minds of many. In fact, it's a bright new day for green cars here in Los Angeles, a reflection of an auto industry that's been listening to the voice of the customer and, of course, paying attention to the considerable will of regulators. All you have to do is look around at the show floor to see plenty of evidence of this. There are high fuel efficiency internal combustion cars, gasoline and clean diesel vehicles, along with hybrids and models powered by electricity, E85 ethanol, hydrogen, and natural gas. But this, this diversity is reflected in our five finalists this, this year, our top five green cars for 2012. They are the Ford Focus Electric, the Honda Civic Natural Gas, the Mitsubishi I, the Toyota Prius V, and the VW Passat TDI. Two electric vehicles, one hybrid, one clean diesel, and one powered by natural gas. This sends a clear message. There's no single answer to our transportation future, as some have loudly proclaimed. That assumption is simply wrong. At Green Card Journal, we've said since our very first issue in 1992 that the love of driving and respect for the environment needn't be mutually exclusive. In fact, they are and should be inseparable. You know, 20 years seems a long time, but as I think back to our January 1992 issue that first saw the light of day here at the Los Angeles Auto Show, I knew that efficiencies and environmental impact would become as important as performance, luxury, safety, and value. The reason to me was clear. Simply, without a significant effort to harmonize automobiles and the environment and address such crucial challenges as tailpipe emissions, air quality impacts, petroleum dependency, and sustainability, the cars that we love may not be around in recognizable form for our children or theirs to enjoy. I don't want to see that happen. Many are familiar with the American, Native American saying that goes, we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. With that as an inspiration, I'd like to think that we are no longer blindly driving toward an unsustainable future, but creating change that will sustain the joy of driving for future generations to come. It's heartening to see how this field has evolved. Our five finalists rose to the top among literally dozens of potential candidates. Each of these finalists is, to a one, a great example of what can result when intelligent design, engineering, and commitment to efficiencies and environmental improvement come together. Ultimately, after having met all qualified qualifying criteria, which includes a current model on sale and available by January 1st of the award year, these five stood out as having um, the, the features that are most worthy of consideration for this year's Green Car of the Year Award. I think everyone will agree that this year's nominees are a pretty diverse crowd. This is a healthy thing. Greater choices in the showroom will encourage more buyers to drive green sooner if these vehicles meet their needs and their expectations. For instance, 
The Prius B is a larger variant of Toyota's popular hybrid model, marking the expansion of Prius into its own family of vehicles. Ford's Focus Electric and Mitsubishi's i continue the move towards zero emission electric motoring. Honda's Civic Natural Gas champions a clean burning alternative fuel that's abundant in this country. VW's Passat TDI is a fun to drive sedan that continues this automaker's expansion of new clean diesel products achieving high fuel efficiency on a familiar fuel. Selecting this year's Green Car of the Year is a jury that includes six environmental and automotive experts, plus Green Car Journal editors including Todd Cahill, Jeff Carr, Drew Harden, Cam Benty, and myself. Invited jurors include Carl Pope, Chairman of the Sierra Club, Francis Beinecke, President of the Natural Resources Defense Council, Jean-Michel Cousteau, President of Ocean Future Society, Matt Peterson, President of Global Green USA, auto expert, and tonight show host Jay Leno, an automotive icon, and my friend Carol Shelby. And now for the winner. Imagine a world in which your daily drive no longer requires filling up with gasoline, much of it imported from half a world away, where you can park your car for the night, and if you choose, with a setting and a quick connection to an appliance, you can wake up in the morning with a car fully fueled and ready for the day ahead. And where during your drives you can feel good knowing you aren't contributing to the smog forming ozone that often brings layers of haze and unhealthful air surrounding our cities. Your car is smart, designed for efficiency in ways that require no attention on your part, while also enabling you to actively influence efficiency with a driver selectable eco feature. No assumptions are made. With this system, you choose when and under what circumstances to drive more conservatively to fully optimize fuel economy in an already fuel efficient vehicle. This sedan is accommodating with seating for five and many desirable features that make driving a comfortable and pleasurable experience. It looks out for your well-being with a sophisticated array of active and passive safety systems that earn a top safety pick rating by the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety. And it's convenient, offering all of this with a driving range of up to 240 miles, no gasoline required. This isn't an imaginary, an imaginary world, and the car is not fiction. That world is here in Los Angeles today. And the car is the Honda Civic Natural Gas, which I'm proud to say is Green Car Journal's 2012. <laughs> Perfect.